how much fun was it to see your name pop up as, as a regional host this year? Well, I think after we got past Tuscaloosa's regional, I like, had <laughs> kind a of sigh of relief. We were so blown away to see our name pop up, and especially with the number that was in front of it. When y'all saw Notre Dame pop up as a two seed, did y'all know then, okay, we, we got it, we're going we're gonna to definitely host, because that was kind of what was juggling between you two teams. Anybody? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime you see ACC teams pop up, it's exciting. So we're just exciting to see um, – I think maybe them go before us <laughs> last year. I think we were just really caught off guard, I would say, um, seeing our name so early. So to see another ACC team a little bit earlier than us was definitely reassuring. Um, but anytime we see ACC teams, I think we were, we were pretty excited in general. So, but again, also a little bit relieving too. <laughs> Speaking of ACC teams, you see Virginia Tech at two, Florida State at three, teams you've gone head to head with. You sit there and go, we, we can play with these people. We can make it to the final eight. I mean. Do you believe that? Yeah, I think this week especially, um, you know, playing these teams that, you know, Virginia Tech, we played early in the year and didn't do as well and then came back and beat them. Um, we've been competitive before our state every time. Definitely give us a lot of confidence that we can be competitive with those top teams. Y'all thoughts about, you know, the other three teams in the regional and just, you know, you thought some, you know, Auburn's going to be the number two seed here. Obviously, you got to take care of business on Friday as well. Just give me your general thoughts. Oh, well, you know, softball is a game, like Coach Rippman always says, and doesn't know who's supposed to win or lose, so we're just going to go out and give it – Everything we got, just like any other game. Do y'all know anything about UNC Wilmington at all? Um, my whole family graduated from there, so <laughs> nothing about the softball team, but that's where my family lives. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I had a few teammates from high school go and play there, so I know they're a respectable program. Um, I know that any team that is good enough to make it to a regional is going to be somebody that's good competition. So we just can't overlook anybody at this point and um, just have to respect any team that, that makes it to this point because that means they deserved it. Tammy, you've had such a long and productive career <laughs> now. You know, this is, you, you, you're facing some of these final games. What is, are you, are you treating these final few weeks like? What's going through your mind? Um, I think just really taking it all in, just trying to really appreciate where I am now, where I started, um, how far I've come, and just appreciating where we're at and the stage we're at and being surrounded by these two, the rest of our team, mm -hmm. um, as talented as they are, and being able to be on the same stage with all of them is just really special. Um, it's really cool to just be able to play with such high caliber players and be competing against such high caliber teams. And um, it's not anywhere that I, I pictured myself being in my softball career. So I'm just really thankful for it and trying to trying to take it all in. Valerie, what do you think next Friday is going to be like with the atmosphere? Um, I think, you know, our home fans have wanted this for a while and they really wanted it last year and got really disappointed. So I think they're just going to bring all that energy that's kind of been building for a while. When you get in a circle like that in this atmosphere the way it is, what's going? how does that feel for you as the pitcher? Um, I mean, it's definitely, you know, the, the umpires are in here for the fans. Um, <laughs> it's kind of fun. You know, they, they know they're always there, and, you know, I kind of joke about it with teammates or, you know, find playing first base and something runners are on, you kind of joke about it. But, um, you know, it definitely gives me just, you know, we have that support, and that's just a really cool atmosphere to play in because so many people don't get to play in that. For, for Tammy and Aaliyah. I was watching her yesterday out there battling. We know she's such an intense competitor and trying to go through it after suffering that loss. You're, you know, you're on your way home. You know what your teammate did. You know, she gave it everything she had. How do you treat this this regional or coming up? I mean, is it like this team is even closer now? We, we, we're all for each other. Does that, it's a loss, but does it help? Oh, I think 100% it definitely helps. Um, any adversary, adversity we face is just going to push us to be better. And we know Valerie Cagle is going to give us everything she has, but she also knows that we're going to be behind her every step of the way. Yeah, we've been joking, kind of the three of us and Maddie Moore. There's a picture of us recently from the win after Virginia Tech that's like definitely one of my favorite pictures of all of us. <laughs> and I think like we've obviously had some struggles this year in the infield. Maddie's young, Aaliyah's new to the infield, I'm new to the Power Five. Um, so the experience I think has caught up to us a lot of times from the other teams, and we haven't necessarily had that in the infield. Um, so just to really come together and do that behind Valerie, um, I think she had two strikeouts that day, and we're used to sometimes just kind of standing back and watching Valerie work, but uh, I think that day was the first time that we really, she gave us a lot of, she said after the game, she's like, I gave you guys a lot of opportunities to make an error, um, and, and we didn't in that game, and I think the picture of the three of us just kind of coming together, hugging her after that game, and being like, we did it for you, <laughs> we finally did it, um, and it definitely shows her hard work, you know, the loss yesterday, and we weren't perfect. Perfect. And, right. and that's what it shows when she's just working her butt off and, and we're not perfect behind her, you know, that's when the games catch up to us. So 
we definitely appreciate the hard work that she gives for us and the games that she gives to us and the chances that she gives us. Um, so we're really proud and it's even more special whenever we're able to perform behind her. Valerie, you've gone up some, against some of the best pitchers in the country last year in Alabama. This year, Duke, Virginia Tech. I mean, there's so many good ones in, in this conference. The, the, the Razors margin is really thin. What have you learned from all of that that you can take into the postseason now? I mean, I think for me this year, a lot of it's been trusting my defense behind me and trusting the offense. You know, I don't have to do it all. Right. I mean, you know, there's games maybe I will. I'm going to throw a great game in the circle and I'm going to hit well, but there's games that I'm not. And so when we have those, like when I have those games, I really need to just work on, you know, making sure that I'm trusting them behind me. All three of y'all, you, you had last year's experience in Tuscaloosa. You know what it's like to be in the Silver Tournament. How's that going to help you in this regional? Any experience we gain is going to help us, and Tuscaloosa has one of the craziest environments I've ever played in. And to have that experience last year and then to be here and have kind of a similar environment but with our own fans, I'm I'm so excited for it, and I think we're ready for it. Yeah, I mean, I think we even saw the difference yesterday playing Florida State in a neutral site. You know, we played them three games at their home stadium, and you could definitely feel the big moments feel ten times bigger in their stadium. Um, as compared to yesterday, just having that neutral site, and they had big moments, and of course it's loud and it's exciting for their team, and that gives you a little bit of like deflation whenever that happens, but it's 10 times stronger when you're in somebody else's environment. So I think just being able to have that on our side this time um, is gonna be something that's really helpful for us because like Val said, like our environment is, is unmatched, and I think um, we're, we're pretty close up there with a lot of the big stadiums and the big fans and the big moments, so it's definitely gonna play to our advantage. It's exciting. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you.